The fifth selection in the 2020 NHL draft will be made by Ottawa Senators General Manager Pierre Dorian. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank Alex Trebek for helping us with our third selection. We'd also like to welcome Tim Stutzla to the organization. Les Sénateurs d'Ottawa sont très fiers de choisir. The Ottawa Senators are real proud to select from the United States National Team Development Program and the University of North Dakota, Jake Sanderson. Okay, so we have a little bit of a delay, but you will see the celebration. And for those that don't know, Jake Sanderson, the defenseman who's uh, going to, to NODAC, uh, is the son of former NHLer Jeff Sanderson. Berkey, what can you tell us about Dad before we start to drill down on Jake the son? Well, I only lasted a year in Hartford, so I only had Sandy, <laughs> I only had Sandy for a year, but I'm pretty sure he scored 46 goals for us, and we were terrible. He was a joy to have. Great player, great teammate. Mm -hmm. I'm glad this kid's bigger than his dad, though. This kid's 6'3". <laughs> I called the dad last week to check. He's 6'3", 205. Left shot. He, he's a top, top pick. And now the crunch comes on Anaheim. What do you do next? Oh, One of the man. two D is gone. Uh, well, there's a Jamie Drysdale certainly out there. And we know that Anaheim loves to select their uh, defenseman. What is Ottawa getting in Jake Sanderson here, Sammy? 6'3", 100, well, now over 200 pounds left shot defenseman, but he's really good in his own end. Here he has a good stick, separates the puck from the man, no problem, initiates the breakout. How about a tight gap here? Yeah, I'm just going to erase this play, pinch him off to the boards, puck's turned over, there we go, we exit the zone. Same sort of thing here. All right, I want to be able to initiate the breakout, I'll go to the middle of the ice, there you go, okay. Break up this play at the blue line, no problem, we get the offside call. Now more of Sanderson playing that great defensive style of game. Little support from his partner coming across to the blind side, again separates the puck from the man. So you're looking at a guy who has a great defensive foundation to his game. That was established early in the season. As you went to go later in the season, he said, you know what, we need to add more offense, and he started to add that part of his game. And First. Seth Eppert, Seth Eppert said low-risk offense from this player will develop captain, elite defender. You know, his father's, of course, Jeff Sanderson, uh, and Jake is, I would suspect, oh, by the way, Berkey, I know this is after your heart. I wanted to make a story about Jeff, but okay, the Jeff, fish story. I fish. took Jeff fishing at Langara Lodge in Haida Gwaii, B.C. That is a 77-pound Chinook salmon <laughs> that was released, by the way. It was my turn. And that fish hit the rod and Sandy said, Berkey, you're up. And I said, no, no, it's a big fish. You take it. I will regret that till I die. But uh, he caught that fish and I didn't. Uh, there will be plenty of stories from Brian Berg this evening. Uh, many of them will involve fish. You know, Jeff Sanderson was such a meticulous hockey player. One of the great stories about him is as a player, he used a different stick each period. He had a normal stick for the first period when he had full energy. Then he had a second period stick, which was a little smaller, so he bent his knees more. And by the time the third period rolled around, he had a third period <laughs> stick to force him to bend his knees to engage in the play. That's how meticulous Jeff Sanderson is. We talk about second-generation hockey players. Jake Sanderson is that second-generation player. How much of an advantage does he have because dad played in the NHL? Well, I think these kids all have an advantage because they watch their dads play the game. The rink has no fear for them. The system, the media... All this, the American League, it has no fear for them. They've seen their dad go through it. Same with kids with older brothers. So to me, one of the wonderful things about the NHL today is this second generation of players, that this knowledge and wisdom and experience has been passed on to the Kachuks of the world and the Sandersons of the world. This kid's underrated. He's a special skater for a guy his size. He closes quickly on people. He is going to be an impact player for them. I love this pick. I think Ottawa's already having a great night. Uh, it's been really good so far for Pierre Dorian, and they're not done in the first round yet. Let's head to the NHL Network now, and Jamie Hirsch with the number two pick of the 2020 NHL Draft, presented by Team